Hello, it's Varun here. Next, uh, we are going to talk about the header and the subheader functionality for the BuddyX free version. For the header point of view, uh, we have enabled a couple of uh, icons on the top of the header. Uh, these are the body press specific icon. And if you want to hide any specific icon, like if you want to hide search, message icon or the notification icon, we have given a setting here for the header. And you can enable and dis disable these icons from the top. And uh, in our recent version, we have also enabled a sticky header functionality. If you want to disable this functionality, you can disable it also from the header option. And uh, so these options are simple enough, like uh, just enable and disable them. And that specific action will be performed. Uh, no detailed description is required for that one. This card is icon is specific to the WooCommerce. When WooCommerce is not enabled, uh, the card icon will not be displayed. Uh, the next functionality is related to the subheader like um, this area where we are displaying the title and the breed comp. Uh, this area we are calling as a subheader and on the subheader if you want to include a image background as a uniform section you can also apply a image there like uh, just for the demonstration I am going to use uh, uh, this image. So it is going to be displayed like this one. You can use a pattern or anything. Even if you are not planning to use the pattern, you can also use a color option like this. And you can also choose uh, what uh, text color you are planning to use for this title after the color background is applied. So you can also choose uh, that taxonomy for it. By default, um, you, can, you are allowed to choose any one of the taxonomy options change the font width and also you have a control on the font size by default the default size will be applied capitalize text decoration none line height is not required side breed comp if you want to hide this breed comp option you can also disable it from here so these are the things what you can do with the subheader section and even if you're not planning to utilize this background functionality you can disable it and uh, by default, I'm trying to keep the breed comp enabled like this. And the next option is specific to the site sidebar, which is uh, more frequently is getting used. For the sidebar point of view, we have uh, different different sections are already divided. Like uh, this is the general setting sidebar layout as a general setting single post sidebar as per the name it is going to be effective on the blog section area activity directory it is going to be effective on the activity directory which is the news feed or the page what we have used for the body press activity mapping to display all activity right now this page is the activity directory next one is the member directory so this page where we are displaying all the members we are calling it as a activity directory and right now you can see that uh, the right sidebar is enabled if you want to dis enable the both sidebar you can toggle to this option and you have to make sure you have uh, included some widgets for the left sidebar and the right sidebar then it will start displaying with something like this same thing applies for the group directory the directory page what we have mapped inside the buddy press or buddy boss that is going to be displayed um, with the sidebar options so based on what sidebar option you have chosen, it is going to display left sidebar right sidebar or both sidebar okay the next one is the woocommerce specific sidebar so when you are going to use the woocommerce the single product page can be controlled from here and you can choose uh, if you want to display it as a full width or a both sidebar you can enable these options from there so uh, in this video we had covered three things first the header subheader and the sidebar next video we are going to cover up the lock-in and the footer options Thank you.